For the past few years, all you've heard is Messi and Ronaldo. We've truly been blessed to witness those two players make history. At this point, we expect new players to perform at that level, but there just aren't many players who will live up to the expectations. Except one. Enter Kylie and Mbappe. The current PSG player is currently the hottest commodity in the player market. Today, we've brought you some amazing news about his future. First up, PSG Forward is expected to announce the decision to join Real Madrid soon. The 23-year-old player is considered the heartbeat of his current club, PSG. And it's not that PSG doesn't know that. They know how important the player is, and they've been trying to make sure they can keep him. However, it's never that simple in soccer. Real Madrid is also eyeing the French national. After a bit of tug of war between the teams for the rising player, it's expected that the French striker will be announcing his decision soon. It's not clear whether he'll be joining PSG or whether he'll be joining Real Madrid, but we should know sometime in the future. So now Mbappe has a choice to make. He can either stay at PSG where he'll make more money and be valued properly. Currently being the best player there, he'll also be the star of the club. Or he can go to Real Madrid. He might be overshadowed there by likes of Karim Benzema. He'll also make less money than he's being offered to stay at PSG. So, PSG is the obvious choice, right? Well, not so fast. Despite PSG making more sense financially, from a recognition point of view, Real Madrid will make more of an impact. With Madrid, he'll be playing for a more popular popular league, especially internationally. He'll also have a greater chance of winning the in the future. He's also eyeing the Club World Cup, which will be a lot easier to win with Real Madrid. Mbappe also hasn't ever won the Ballon d'Or. The impact he'll have with Madrid will make it easier for him to win the trophy in the future. So to sum it all up, PSG equals more money, but Madrid equals more prestige. Next, we can't let him go. PSG are exploring almost every avenue they can to ensure that Kylian Mbappe doesn't leave for Real Madrid. So, the first tactic they've employed is to throw a boatload of money at him. PSG being funded by Middle Eastern oil money, a few million dollars here and there is no big deal for them. The club has offered him a contract worth four million. Yes, you heard that right, dollars a month. He's also being offered a $100 million signing bonus. The current pay package will make him one of the highest earning footballers as of right now. The folks over at PSG are aware that Mbappe will be earning significantly less than at Madrid, but they're also aware of the fact that it's not finances that are driving his decision. So, what is driving his decision? Mbappe believes that PSG's actions and promises are clashing. He thinks that, firstly, they're not letting him develop as a player. He wants to play more all-rounder roles than just as a striker. Secondly, he believes that the team is just not serious enough about winning the Champions League. The reigning World Cup champion also promised the club he won't leave on a free transfer, causing massive losses for PSG. He ensured that the French club also got paid for his transfer. However, they were annoyed because he only kept pushing to leave at the very last week, when Real Madrid made an offer of over $200 million which then never materialized. And now, Real Madrid goes on the full charm offensive. La Liga's reigning champions have played the long game to lure the French international to Santiago Bernabeu. They've been selling him to the idea that he'll be the club's new Cristiano Ronaldo, someone who Real Madrid relied on for a long time. Real Madrid knows that Mbappe greatly idolizes Ronaldo hence are hoping this new angle of attack will work. They've also demonstrated how much prestige and fame Real Madrid will bring him. He'll be able to increase his fan base and will be able to get endorsements from all around the world. On top of that, they've illustrated how with the help of Mbappe, the club will be able to continue its dominance in Europe. Being the face of Europe's king appeals to Mbappe more than the millions of dollars that PSG has offered him. To him, the move to Real Madrid always felt natural. It always felt like an integral part of his career map. PSG PSG has also expressed frustration at that. Folks over at PSG believe that they've been sure for a long time that the player will one day or the other end up at the club. Real Madrid has been super sure too, that he'll end up with them in Spain. Real Madrid has every right to be confident that they'll pull off this move, considering that the player already wanted to connect with them last year. They're also aware that Mbappe knows that Madrid's sporting project is a lot stronger, considering they just won their 35th La Liga title and have also won the Champions League. So that's all we know about Kylie Mbappe's move to Real Madrid so far. Let's now move on to some other news. Starting with, a messy fight breaks out between the Indian and Afghanistan players. An ugly fight broke out after a qualifier game between India and Afghanistan recently. A group of Afghan and Indian players was involved in shoving and pushing each other around after India, the host team, beat the Afghan side 2-1 to win the AFC Asian Cup qualifiers. The Indian team was able to grab the important three points. After 
losing the game, players from the losing side expressed their anger against India. In a viral social media video, two Indian and three Afghan players can be seen pushing and shoving each other. Then the scuffle escalated and several players from both sides joined the fight. Gurpreet Singh, the Indian goalie, tried to stop the fight, but he was pushed by the Afghan side. That's not all. There was also shirt pulling. Blows were also traded between the two players before they were separated by AFC officials. It's still not clear why the fight broke out at the end of the game. Next, German ex-footballer not happy with the treatment of gay people in Qatar. Former German footballer Oliver Bierhoff believes that the treatment of gay people by World Cup host Qatar is utterly unacceptable. He told German newspapers that he's quite unhappy that homosexuality is still illegal in the Gulf state. This also made him question the criteria with which Qatar was chosen to host the tournament. This criticism is coming at a time when FIFA has promised that all LGBTQ plus symbols will be allowed in the stadiums during the tournament. At the same time, though, Qatari officials have appealed to the outsiders to respect their conservative culture. The basis of this controversy stems from the fact that homosexuality is criminalized in Qatar. Amnesty International has also claimed that women and people from the LGBTQ community face discrimination in law and practice. That's not all, though. The country has been heavily criticized for other blemishes on its human rights record. Qatar has treated its migrant workers, especially the ones who have worked on the stadiums for the tournament, terribly. By some measures, close to a whopping 6,500 migrant workers have died due to terrible working conditions while working on infrastructure for this World Cup. Fans are calling it the bloodiest World Cup in history. World Cup organizers have been struggling to convince people from the marginalized community that they'll be safe at the event. However, in March of this year, Qatar's Secretary General of the World Cup said that people have been ill-informed and that everyone is welcome to attend the event. And finally, Manchester United also eyeing Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski, a German national, is trying to transfer to FC Barcelona. However, his move could fall apart, and if that happens, the English club Manchester United is ready to bag him. Lewandowski has helped his current club Bayern with the Champions League, and has also helped the German football team win the World Cup. If the deal goes through, it could mean wonders for United, since they'll have Ronaldo and him on the attack. Lewandowski, who's over 33 years old, has only 12 months left on his contract with his current club. Once the contract expires, he'll be expected to leave the Bundesliga for a more competitive league. Currently, Barcelona is a heavy favorite, but they may struggle to spend the $50 million price tag. Hence, the door has been opened for other clubs to sign the forward, including Manchester United and Chelsea. Chelsea may be able to offer the German star Champions League football, something that Manchester United has been unable to promise this season. But that doesn't mean that United should be considered out of the race. However, United isn't putting all its eggs in one basket. They've already launched the race for midfielder Frankie de Jong. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. What do you folks think about Mbappe's move? Do you think he'll choose money or will he choose the trophies? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye!